Hey guys, X Reflection back again. Uh, like I said, uh, I had new parts coming in and they have arrived. I'm really excited. Um, it's I have new RAM, new uh, new motherboard, and another SSD, another 120 gigabyte SSD. Uh, let me see if I can find my knife. I have three boxes sitting here under my desk. Uh, talk about being unprepared. Sorry guys. Um, but yeah, so the order that we're gonna go, I'm gonna open the SSD first, uh, show you guys that it's an o OCZ Solid 3 SSD, uh, 120 gigabyte. Uh, then I'm gonna go to the Corsair Vengeance RAM that I bought, it's a 16 gigabyte kit. Uh, I decided might as well get 16 gigabytes while I'm at it. I guess I'm, it's gonna be a huge upgrade from what I have right now, it's four gigabytes of VDR2. Um, and then I will open up the Asus Maximus 4 Gene Z motherboard. Uh, which is the new motherboard that I need to get this installed and actually I'll open this up too this almost forgot about that okay so first things first let's put this aside this is from NCIX um, this is my second SSD well third in my that I'm going to have in my system but this is my second one that I ordered recently. Um, a, a NCIX has proven to be very reliable and I, I, I very much enjoy ordering from them. I will find use for this box with the packing slip. Very small box, very nice. Got SSD. It comes in a much smaller box compared to my Force 3. As you can see much thinner so obviously there's no bracket included in this one um, not again not that it really matters that I need it uh, let's see so we got barcode so yeah so to start off so it's the OCZ solid 3 120 gigabyte uh, solid state drive or SSD let me see if I can get focus focus we got focus for you guys yeah, it should be good enough okay so the specifications on the new egg website. So you have SATA 3 connection, obviously. I wouldn't get a SATA 2 now that I have a, a board that can support SATA 3. Sustain, sustain sequential read up to 500 megabytes per second on SATA 3. Uh, 450 megabytes sequential write. And then the NTFF uh, is 2 million hours. Uh, let's see, 4 kilobyte random read is 20,000 IOPs. Um, it's much less than the Force 3, I believe. I believe that was 85,000, right? And then, blah, 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 trim support, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, so that's it uh, for the technical specs for the most part. Let's get this baby opened up. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to distribute my SSDs. I'm definitely going to be putting in, so I have three SSDs right now. I'm definitely going to be putting one into one of my laptops for sure so it's a nice box uh, let's see Get this opened up yeah the box is basically the size of the SSD which is kind of interesting oh I guess it's a little bit smaller let's get this freaking thing opened open up I believe it's a foam container that's a pretty nice presentation, I think. All right, so there it is. We got user guide, warranty info, etc. Cool sticker. My SSD is faster than your HDD, which is quite obvious with whatever. And uh, this is the case it comes in. It's pretty nice. This this stuff all around here. This is all foam. So it's uh, protected from any shock. So I guess it's okay having been stored in something like that. All right. So let's see. I never get over how small SSDs are. Crazy. Um, do not drop. Do not press. Okay. So I got a nice anti-static bag. If I ever needed one, I can touch some metal. All right. So there you have it. Solid 3 OCZ SSD. 
This one I also had to upgrade the firmware for. Uh, the case is really nice. I actually like the the look of this a lot better than uh, the Corsair drive. This one looks a lot sleeker. Too bad the, stat, the technical specs are lower. Um, so I'll decide which one I'm going to have in my system. I'll probably put the two 120 in my system and use one of them to install games on or something. Um, but yeah, so it's aluminum casing. I think the top is plastic. So the black part's plastic, aluminum casing. I got your SATA connections, so SATA power, SATA 3 connection. Um, got your screws on the bottom that I'm going to be using, screw holes that I'm going to be using for with my brackets. And that pretty much does it for that. Uh, let's put this back in here. Let's put this aside. Right there. Next up is my RAM. So my RAM I ordered from Amazon. Um, I always like Amazon's boxes because they're easy to open. No knives required. And packing slip. That to the side with that stuff. Put that to the side. And there you have it. Corsair Vengeance, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 1600 megahertz. There you go. So the technical specs on this, uh, obviously 240 pin DDR3 SD RAM. Um, it's basically what every single DDR3 RAM for desktops is. Uh, your, your 16 gigabytes, four by four gigabyte sticks. Uh, 1600 PC3, 12,800. Case latency is nine or 999.24. These do run at 1.5 volts. Um, and they are unbuffered quad channel, capable of quad channel, but I don't think anything really necessarily takes advantage of that. And there is a heat spreader, and this heat spreader is somewhat large and tall. But I guess we can open that up to, to find that part out. Um, okay, that is open. This entire time, I'm hoping and praying that all my parts work. I will be extremely sad if I have to RMA anything. So there is one stick. So as you can see, the heat sink is, or the heat spreader is kind of largish. I believe the G-Skill RAM, I saw a picture of it, it comes up to like around here on the, on the, uh, the Corsair Vengeance. So its heat spreader would go across like that. So it's a good probably quarter inch shorter than the Vengeance. I'm hoping I don't have problems with height clearance um, with my Cooler Master uh, Hyper 212 Plus and the RAM on such a small micro ATX board that I have. Um, but we will shall see what happens. Um, I was told, I've been told that I will not have any issues. So hopefully that's true. So now let's get to the processor first. Um, open this baby up. So as I mentioned before in a previous video, Core i5, 2500K, it is the 1155 socket by Intel. I did jump ship from AMD after having three processors by them. I'm switching from a Phenom 2 955 uh, Black Edition because I want more overclocking potential. So you have the stock heat sink which is a piece of crap. I don't suggest you ever use this if you plan on doing anything enthusiast related, overclocking, etc. I'm definitely not gonna, you can't, you won't be caught. You won't catch me using that thing for sure. And there you go. There is the processor. Let's see if we can get that focus on the text. Almost there. Reflection is kind of back, but uh, I think you guys should be able to see that. But anyway, so there's the CPU, and I will put that aside now because I need the motherboard for this to work. It's a nice thing. Oh yeah, I guess the tech tech specs. Um, it is a stock 3.3 gigahertz. 
1155 socket. The K on the name, the 2500K, means that the multiplier is unlocked, so you have a lot more ease with overclocking. Um, people I've been hitting probably like four point between 4.6 and 4.8 consistently with this particular processor. I'm hoping I got better silicon than some other people might have. So hopefully, I'm I'm hoping for uh, like 4.7, 4.8, but. We will see what happens. And the finale, the thing that you probably have been looking forward to more than the other stuff. I did order this from Newegg. I was originally going to order it from Amazon, but um, they were sold out. And I was like, I'm not waiting. So I just decided to buy from it from Newegg. Um, so Newegg, as usual, has awesome packaging. Absolutely awesome. You have to keep in mind that the motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard, so it's not going to be that big. Lots of paper and cushioning. Or maybe not a lot of cushioning, just a lot of paper. That's supposed to be cushioning. Alright. So there's that. Got motherboard box. Okay, so some add stuff, packing slip. And all right. So, as I said before, it's the Maximus 4 Gene Z motherboard. This is a ROG, uh, I guess, edition of I guess along the the uh, ROG Republic of Gamers motherboard line. So there's going to be some extra features for uh, the hardcore bunch of us, which is part of the reason why I got this. Also, very good overclocking potential. Um, so you get things, so it's a really nice box, as I say. You get lists of different, if you'll excuse my cat, I don't know if you can hear him sneezing, he has a cold. Um, so you get Lucid Virtue Technology, right there bud? Hmm. Lucid Virtue Technology, uh, Supreme F FX sci -fi, or X5 um, Sound. Apparently that's software based and the real audio chip is actually still a real tech, but I don't really care because I'm not an audiophile. Got Gamers First. I don't know if you guys can really read this. Gamers First, um, which is I think a way for them for you to control the type of traffic that's going through so you can still download stuff but then you won't get lagged out because you put your gaming traffic on the in terms of upload and download uh, as a priority. Uh, we have Mem Tweak It, ROG Connect, which lets you connect by USB to a laptop and then be able to view the stats and stuff on your motherboard and be able to overclock it using a notebook, which is pretty cool. I definitely plan on using that. BIOS print, you can share your BIOS settings. GPU DIMMs post, you can check the status of your graphics card and memory in the BIOS. I guess see if it's messed up or not, which I will probably be taking advantage of. Um, comes with a special skin version of CPU Z, Damon Tools Pro Standard, Kaversky Antivirus, a bunch of bundle software. Um, anything else interesting on the box? It says type of. So it is crosshair and SLI capable, but we'll just get into this right away. So there it is. The motherboard. It is a beautiful piece of work. The color scheme is very. Nicely chosen. It goes along with the red and black theme of uh, Republic of Gamers, and it definitely fits the motherboard extremely well. And this is going to go really well with the colors in my case. So I'm very excited about that. Um, got a nice plastic cover on there. Let's take the motherboard out. Let's set that aside for a second. Cover that back up because this thing is basically my new baby. All right. So you got really, really high quality uh, PCB blade, um, or not PCB, I, whatever it's called, the, the plate thing that goes in the back of the PC. So, um, there is like pretty nice insulation on the back. Uh, you got two, four SATA cables, I believe two of them are SATA 3. I believe these two look like they're SATA 3 because they're different colors from these. So these are SATA 2 cables, these are SATA 3 cables. So you get, there are two SATA 3 ports on there, but I will get into the features um, after we go through the accessories. 
I've got, let's see, I believe this is an SLI bridge, so not useful for me. I've got the nice um, one piece uh, header inserting adapter thing that lets you put all the front panel connectors into a single block and just insert them in all at once. So you can see like power LED, etc. So that's going to be really nice for installing because it's always annoying dealing with those small cables uh, on the motherboard. Got some zip ties, ROG cable, which is basically a USB cable that will connect from your laptop to the motherboard. Um, Zonar, yeah, this must be some sort of ad thing. Got user's manual, a bunch of stuff in here. Whoa. Um, got label stickers, which is really, really nice because I want to do that. Label my uh, which cable goes in my boot drive and stuff like that. And got the user's manual, driver's disc. Ooh, there is a case badge. That's nice. I always like putting those on my case. So, very big manual. Um, probably going to be taking advantage of that. I got an awesome sticker that I can put on my case. It's, it's a nice corner sticker type thing you just put on the bottom on, on your case or something like that. Just like have it there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, lots lots of accessories. This is pretty sweet. Um, how the fuck do they put this in? Okay. So yeah, that's that stuff. Uh, got that. So there's that. And now for the motherboard. I'm afraid to touch this. <laughs> so scared to touch this thing. Um, how do I get this thing out? Why? I'm afraid to touch this. I, mean, I don't want to screw it up. But, okay. Oh, I can already feel that it's extremely hefty. Not a good idea, but okay. It is extremely heavy. This is a heavy board. You can tell it's very high quality already. Okay, so what we're gonna do is move the camera down so you guys can see the board. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of the board. I've already been doing a lot of research on this, on the, the, the different ports and, and whatever. Okay, so here you have your, God, this is really bad. Okay, there we go. All right, so you have your PS2 port, I guess for people who still use those kind of keyboards and stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five USB 2.0 ports. I believe this is the ROG uh, port. You connect to that special cable. USB 3.0, eSATA, Ethernet, more USB 2.0 ports, uh, optical audio, HDMI, and then your six audio inputs. And outputs. Um, got a cool sticker over there. If you can see it. It's very reflective. Uh, it's a, it's the X52 Supreme FX sticker. Um, you have your eight pin power connector here. CPU pin. CPU power connector. Your heat sinks for the North Bridge. I believe that's the North Bridge. I could be wrong. Um, and then this the South Bridge has a. You can see the ROG logo. Sorry about the focus. It has a plastic cover on it, which obviously you had to take off because that will get hot. Uh, USB 3.0 front panel connector, USB or uh, SATA 3 ports, and then that's two, and then four SATA 2 ports. Um, so that's one more SATA port than my previous motherboard. And this is your 24-pin power connector, 
Uh, I believe these are USB 2.0 headers, and then you have your front panel headers, pins and stuff here. You have a nice debug LED panel thing, it'll give you a debug code. Uh, start button, reset, yes they're located on the board, that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously you can still use the one that's on your case, but like if you have an extra, you don't have a, you have a caseless setup or something, that's always convenient. Your socket obviously, that's important, and then your dim slots. Um, and then you have a go button. I'm not, I had to look that up, I wanted to double check what that is. Um, and that pretty much does it for the tour around the motherboard. Uh, so that does it for the unboxing. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this computer off and get to work on building, putting together my new system uh, and install Windows and all that other jazz. The most annoying part of upgrading. But I will catch you guys later. I'll probably upload a second video uh, showcasing my new build and possibly an overclock. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.